it's important to define what we mean by salary packages. And in this case, what we're referring to is total compensation, which consists of three elements. Number one, the employee's cash compensation. Number two, the employee's benefits package. And number three, the amount of any tax that the employee would pay or any contributions that the employee would make towards social security or provident funds. Our expatriate market pay survey is the most comprehensive survey of expatriate compensation throughout the world. It's based on the input of 250 multinational organisations reporting on over 10,000 expatriate staff throughout the world. And it allows companies to benchmark um, compensation for expatriates at both the salary level as well as the benefits level and total compensation. So this enables companies to get a comprehensive overview of whether or not their salaries, both base pay as well as total compensation, are in line with the market um, throughout over 150 countries worldwide. There are three main findings from this year's survey results for Asia. Firstly, we see that the total compensation that an expatriate receives in the region is highest in Japan. Secondly, we see that the total compensation that an expatriate receives is also high in developing locations such as India. And then finally, we see that locations where people would normally think that an expatriate receives a relatively high salary are actually ranked low in our um, rankings. For example, we see that the cash compensation that an expatriate receives in Hong Kong is relatively low in the region in comparison even to developing locations like India, China, Indonesia and Vietnam.